Uh. What's up everybody, welcome to VX Gaming, hope you all had a good day and today we'll be talking about Xbox Game Pass for PC and consoles because we do have games leaving and we do have games arriving. Now unfortunately more are leaving than are arriving but I suppose in some way we could say this is good news, not really, you know it's I don't know how to take this. You know, everyone has a opinion about Fallout 76. It is arriving on the service for PC and console. And I'm going to be honest. You know, I have advocated for it being on a service such as Game Pass because I feel like it should be as close to the free-to-play model as physically possible. Considering the many bugs in Fallout 76 and the many ways of monetization that they've used. So. I'm not going to say no to it, but I'm not really enticed to get it. Now, I have praised Fallout 76 in the past, especially when it comes to their Battle Royal mode, because it actually worked really well. Four, I believe it's four player team versus many other teams, like 30 or something like that, I'm not entirely sure. Playing on the map, there is AI to combat with, it's really good actually. You know, so this might actually get some playtime. Just for the Battle Royal, which is odd, because I'm not really much of a Battle Royal fan. But what games are we getting in July? Well, starting us off on July 1st, we actually have two games arriving. Out of the Park Baseball 21. The game is a 21st in the strategy franchise. There's 21 of those titles. And I was actually assuming that was actually the year that they were doing it, so maybe they've been doing it for 21 years probably. That's actually mad. So this is the 21st game in the franchise and features new improvements, customizations, and will have both online and offline experiences. So already that, that does tick the box, that last part. I'm not much of a baseball fan. You know, I don't really see the appeal of it. Other than maybe hitting the ball. And if I was going to do that, I'd just use the Wii Fit. So next up we have Soul Calibur 6, which I believe is actually about two years old. Basically your fighting game, your Tekken type game. Always a fun game. You can create your own characters. And if I remember rightly, and I think I covered this on the channel, some of the things that you can create can get you banned. Uh, needless to say, everyone goes straight to the same point. Let's make a character down below. But those are two games arriving on July 1st. Not too bad, not too bad. Next up we have CrossCode. Now this will arrive on July 9th. It is a retro action RPG set in the distant future and features over 30 boss fights, 120 enemy types, over 120, dungeons full of puzzles, combat skills and quests supported by handmade music tracks. Sounds interesting, I might get this a go. I do like my RPGs. We'll have to wait and see how it goes. I need to look at the actual trailer. Then of course on that same day, we have Fallout 76. What more can I say? Maybe about time? Maybe? I already know people are going to have benefits and negatives towards this. You know, I feel like it's a benefit. We'll have to wait and see how people take it. In fact, I'm actually kind of curious how long it's going to stay on Game Pass. I wonder how long the deal is. Now there are games leaving on July 15th, and these are as follows. Blazing Chrome, Dead Rising 4, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, Time Spinner, Unavowed, and Undertale. Now personally, I can only really talk about Metal Gear Solid 5, I think it's actually a decent game. Not the best, but I do think it's decent. It does have its moments. Dead Rising 4. But to be honest, I kind of lost interest in Dead Rising after the second one. Everything else, I can't really talk about. But if you are interested in any of those titles, you might want to pick them up now and see what you can get out of them. But keep in mind, you've got 15 days to complete them. Now, it also does appear that there is some content coming. I am currently working on a review for Minecraft Dungeons, The Jungle Awakening. Now you would think, oh, a review? It's actually quite long, I'm going to be honest. But I do have some stuff to say about this DLC. But also it's like we've got some Sea of Thieves, The Greatest Tales Never Told, and 
dedicated to green zone and plunder pack. Sea of Thieves is good when you've got some friends. State of Decay 2, I'm going to be honest, it is very boring. I don't understand why, but it is very boring. So I'm not actually looking forward to that one. But I may give it a shot, I may try to get some 4 player co-op or whatnot. Me and my friends are talking about it, but we just can't bring ourselves to do it actually, which is weird. But we do have games arriving. And I suppose the biggest one is, of course, Fallout 76. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. Quite frankly, I do think Fallout 76 arriving on Game Pass finally is a good idea. Granted, Fallout 76 is maybe a game I would maybe like buy for a bit. Say about 10 bucks, I'm going to be honest. It's nothing special, it's got... I want to see what the improvements are. You know, right now, I'm basing it on what it was like before. You know, I've completely fell off the map with it. I think the last time I saw it was back when they actually introduced the Battle Royal mode. Other than that, I can't really say much. But back then, it was pretty boring. So, with it going on Game Pass, I see it as a plus. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next video. But as always, stay in, stay safe, stay sane, and play a few games. Until then, bye bye.